Hey, Composing Gloves here, and this is another video in the Sound and Synth Basics. Today, we're going to be talking about signal flow and what it is. So, I'm going to start on the outside of my computer and start with the microphone. So, we have a microphone. My signal goes in. Oh, wait. I should probably, like, not jump into it so fast. Signal flow. Signal flow is the way your signal flows through your system. It is generally the problem you're going to run into when something doesn't work. When you have something that's just broken. There's different levels. I'm going to stick to mostly in the box on this one. I will talk about getting general signal into there. But that's about it. So once you get it in the box. Because this is a sound and synth. Uh, it's really another topic all on its own. Signal flow. And the, it can be summed up in just a few words. You are connecting outputs to inputs. That's it. That's all you're doing. And so as you're doing that. Uh, if you've connected something wrong somewhere, and this includes digital connections, then you're going to have issues. So I'm going to do it in FL. I'm assuming that you've got FL too, uh, but this is true for any any DAW. Now, the concept of signal flow in FL is way different than in uh, like Pro Tools or Ableton or Cubase or Logic. It's just a different deal. So let's uh, let's get into this. So I've got my microphone. My voice is my, my source signal. The microphone trans forms it into uh, an analog uh, into voltage. And then I've got an XLR cable hooked up, which carries that voltage. And I put it into my mic input on my focus, right? So once it reaches my focus, right, it gets transformed into digital information. And so that's out. So here's my outputs, my voice, and then it gets to my microphone, my microphone is input, then it gets transformed from the input to the output of the microphone and then goes down the cable to the input of my focus right and the output comes out digital and then it reaches my my DAW. And so once it's here, I have created a slot here called mic one and it is going into mic one. I've routed it there and I actually guess I should show you this other thing. If I open up uh, Scarletti mix control, this is the driver for it, and you can see it's actually coming in here. I've muted it. You might be saying, how is signal still coming out? Well, it's coming out. This is like another thing, and this is where the mixing, this is where routing starts to become really important. So this has its own audio output. I don't want this one putting audio out. Otherwise, I'll hear my own voice. So I turn that off, and FL is getting a separate feed that it's using, and so I'm just sticking with that one. And so this, uh, so this is doing its own thing. And you could set up additional setups here. You could put different microphones in by simply changing which one is what. Uh, and the outputs for your routing to like your speakers and stuff. So I'm not going to talk about this side. Because again, this gets like really, it gets pretty complicated. And you just need to be aware of routing. That you're connecting outputs to inputs. I guess I'll talk about this. So it comes in. It reaches this interface. I've muted it because again, FL is receiving a, receiving a separate feed. And you need to know about how your feed is being routed around. It's coming. I have the options to route it out. My monitor outputs. Um, I can change these if I so desire to any inputs or outputs that I have. And I can change my latency here and do a number of other things. So once I'm done here, it gets into FL. Uh, I have muted this channel so I still don't hear my voice. And it's going into Edison and it's stopping right there. Mute. It comes down to the bottom of my channel and just stops. So... That's the thing. Now, once it's here, I can choose to create a number of other sound sources. I like here's a kick, and it's just a source on its own. It's already digital, and I can choose to trigger my kick using something called MIDI. And MIDI is basically performance instructions. Tells the computer how to tells the DAW what to do at a particular time with something else. It's not audio itself. So these things right here aren't audio. They're just messages about audio. And so it's saying right here, trigger the kick, right here, trigger the kick, right here, trigger the kick as we play it. And this is all great and dandy. So once you have this going on, you know, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory from here, but maybe not. Maybe you've never used this. So here you have a track number. This is where uh, it begins to really be diverse from most other DAWs. So we have this thing called a playlist. Usually these things are in another DAW, like in Pro Tools, for example, Track one it has like its own recording thing. You can record directly to track one. It's not like that in FL. Like track one here can be completely unrelated to track one over here, which just didn't even exist in FL last uh, in FL 11, and it could be completely unrelated to track one here. And so this, for example, could be like track three, but I'm on track one here, but it's pattern one, and it's going into insert eight. And watch this, as it's going to insert eight, but it's on 
it's on track one over here. So that's like, it's weird. Um, but yeah, so that's the thing. Some, I, I realize that they have some similar setups, but it's not quite the same because they don't usually, they don't have a pattern interfacing thing right here for those of you who are more familiar. So I have a whole series in FL on, you know, how to make your first song in FL. It's usually at the end of my videos. It may change one day. I did an Ableton video and put that at the end. I thought that was sort of funny. So uh, that's basic signal flow. I'm going to refer you to other places for that. Signal flow is really another topic on its own, and it is specific to your situation. The main thing is you're connecting outputs to inputs. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe, and have a blessed day. Oh, <laughs> oh,